Although this is a natural disaster, it's described as one too much for the station. July 2nd, 2019, fire guarded the, the station. And just this year, 14 February, protesters over the Supreme Court's ruling on the Bayesa state governorship elections vetted their anger on the station by vandalizing vehicles and other equipment of the station. Management and staff of the radio corporation who are yet to overcome the shock described the incident as devastating, even as they appeal to the state government to intervene. This is the last thing that I would have expected. Uh, I'm shocked. That's what, all I can say. I'm deeply shocked. At this point, I don't think there's anything we can do, and we are expecting the government to really come to our aid. It was fire incident on the 2nd of July last year. It was hoodlums attack that even my car was vandalized. That was on the 14th of February, and now the collapse of the masts. Our source of livelihood is being affected, and uh, only the government can come in to do something. And this is total, we need total overhaul. General Manager N.J. Yenengoi Mecca Okpala and his counterpart of Radio Nigeria, whose stations are connected to the mast, appeal for prompt intervention of the state government and the federal government as well to support the station. This mast was uh, servicing three stations, Radio Bahesa being the state radio, um, NTA and uh, Creek FM, Radio Nigeria. So, Three broadcast stations are off in Baesa. How many do we have? I don't know how to start conveying the message to my director general, who for the past two years have been battling to put this station back on air. And we just succeeded about four months ago. He will, I know the thing will touch him seriously. The appeal is not just to state government, to every well meaning Nigerian, both the state, federal government should come and uh, assist the three stations so that we come back, especially this challenging period when we are talking about COVID 19. Meanwhile, officials of the Bayesa State Government have registered their presence here to sympathize with management and staff of the station. Happening now, it means the whole thing, the radio Bayesa is gone. Thank God no life was lost. And uh, as long as people are alive, we still, still use the skill of the people, the technology of the people, and bring funds to make sure that we have a better radio Bayelsa in the state. Thinking of how to um, rehabilitate this uh, uh, premises. Uh, government is uh, currently working on it. And uh, unfortunately, this has uh, also happened, uh, another natural disaster. And it's uh, very, very unfortunate. This damage is colossal. Although no life was lost, the impact of the disaster is far-reaching as it is multidimensional in nature.